Hi, in this tutorial we will learn the following. Create a prototype. Create a control panel. Create a symbol template. So, why use a faceplate? The main benefits are. A complicated control only needs to be created once. Faceplates can be deployed quickly. They can be easily shared between projects. This is the example we are going to build. Both work independently, and are from the same template. So let's begin. First we need to create a new prototype. Let's give it a name, I'm going to call mine panel. Then let's add some members to it, these will be our prototype for the tags. Now let's create a tag, to associate with the prototype we have just created. Note that the model type is object type, and select our prototype name from the drop down. Save as you go, this is a good habit to get into. Let's open a screen. Here is one I created earlier. Now let's create our control panel. Draw a rounded rectangle, this is going to act as our container for the controls. Give it an appropriate fill color. The correct background color, can drastically change how a controls looks and feels on screen. Let's add some controls to our rectangle to create a control panel. I am going to add a push button, a display box and a lamp. Brilliant, now we need to associate the tags we created, with the controls on the screen. Select all the items within our control panel so they are all highlighted, then select group. Now we are going to create our template, to do this we need to start the server. Open the screen with the control, select the grouped control and press the power template button. This will bring up a prompt stating the server must be running, we already started ours, this box is creating our template for the controls on screen, just press close. Stop the server. Open the screen where the control panel is, select it, and press add to symbol library. Select the folder and press ok. Congratulations, you have now created a custom symbol. Now let's add another to the screen and test it.
As we have used a prototype, we can copy the original tag, it will automatically increment the value so it will be unique. Save as you go, this is a good habit to get into. Now let's associate our new tag, with our new control, we can drag and drop. It's that simple. Let's give it a test, start the runtime. Both controls work independently to each other, excellent. So to recap we have, created a prototype, created a control panel, created a symbol template, 